Hello, anybody who's watching. Uh, maybe you're suffering from um, ankle mobility, um, leg and hip soreness, psoriatic or femoral nerve um, aggravation, uh, any kneecap um, tendonitis and, or roughness. All I know about um, these years, I'm getting older. I used to run a lot, um, lift weights, preparing myself for workforce, adulthood, um, taking care of kids or anybody who's around, and just being a good member of society. I sometimes I wake up in the morning, it's rough. And I push myself too hard. Um, I push too much weight. Or I get stuck in a stand-up position at some of these jobs. Where I can't move around as much. Or move forward anymore. I used to just run straight. Straight ahead. In curves and hills. Uh, even just standing for 10 to... 14 hours a day um, creates a different sensation in my mind because I feel like I'm either losing strength or just maintaining. I love the just just maintaining part. Um, I found out that stretching and stretching any part any time in the morning together you get all the stretches in or almost all it gives you that level one confidence um, here I even got my toes pointed up I enjoyed being able to play pickup games, being able to work on fix my tractors and trucks, cars. Sometimes you got to get down. You got to pick yourself back up. Um, but I'm under constant tension. And it affects more than just muscles. And you start thinking about it, people wondering... Are you staying on subject for what they're trying to tell you? I can't wait for you to tell me as much as you know. I'm all ears and I'll even sit down with you and take notes. But if I reply, would you know what I'm talking about? And let's just cut out all the confusion and I'll just be ready. And I'm glad when they're ready too. I'm going to stretch, stretch my ankles, toes, Achilles, um, parts of the, other parts of the calf, the hamstrings, quadriceps. Uh, what's what's in the front, the tibialis. Um, I found out when you run and you got long toenails, it it's going to hurt. Uh, you're going to jam that toe when you're stopping, starting. So all I want to do is stay on top of my hygiene and my maintenance. And this exercise here, which I would classify it as pasture stretching. It's like an isometric hold on one leg. It really makes stabilization like like a stronger. If you can do it on one leg, wait till you put both feet on the ground. Because those long days, you're going to be weak no matter what. Just being aware of your area, injury free. Your brain's moving. Uh, I start to get nervous when I think stuff's gonna fall down. It's gonna break my foot. 
It's gonna give me a hairline. It's I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll my ankle. I'm I'm gonna break my knee. But with this ankle strengthening and some movement, anyone would agree um, that you're moving fluid and the stuff that's contained in your body. You're not getting rid of it. You're keeping it. You just kind of slushing it around a little bit and it's helpful now when I wake up I'm trying to realize what position I've been sleeping in I've been in like a recliner I've been laying on my one side I'm moving too much uh, Am I going to be able to fix this when I wake up? Am I going to be able to grow into just a beautiful day? Am I going to have a good day in 12 hours and 36 hours and, four, and three days in a row? Am I going to have five good days in a row? Six, seven, you know, there's there's hardly any room for error these days. I would love to get a whole bunch of strength going and be able to, let's say, squat 400 pounds on the first rack. You know, I'd do that in a competition. Um, I'm only five foot ten, so I could get under a lot of weight, but I don't know if I can move it two feet down. And, push it all the way back up jump up and, and still party and stuff like that so I gotta pick my oh, spots for heavy heavy stuff occasionally I'm actually I'm off last week's workout in which I was I was jumping around a little bit just testing myself I don't like to move side to side as much as I used to. But I don't like foot pain. This here going to take care of. Um, just give me an assessment of where I'm at. Like, get the nature. Find out if there's some beast still, uh, still into it. Am I warming up or did I go too much? Like already, it's in the morning. And I start moving with the, with a little resistance band at least once a week. Am I gonna gonna fix the separation? Do I have to crack my toes, to pull them straight again? Am I gonna have to pull my legs straight again? Because no, if you don't fight, you can't win. So, I'm trying to get on the offensive here. Now here, I've just finally put my shoes on. And I just started doing these. They're not as harmful. There's no weather. I'm under the good roof. I feel like I'm in the Lord's house. I'm not in the dungeon yet, so. I hardly ever work on my hamstrings. Um, then all of a sudden I might do too much because I'm not tracking a whole lot of exercises. In my head I am. That's why I like to start with these lights. I like to do on a scale of 1 to 10. Let's say there's an intensity level of 10. Well, I don't want to reach that on the first set. Just want to get some circulation. So here I think I'm doing like an eight count of one skip and switch. And I'll do like a double eight count. Um, with just plain old, um, what do I call it here, spreaders. Being able just to 
spread forward with the resistance band I found out it gives me a nice calm um, gate uh, like if I'm prancing around prancing running say I run down one block turn I have to run I don't know 800 meters to 1200 meters up to the traffic light and I got some room just to try to get a stride and being able to get that front um, leverage on the hip will carry my, the rest of my body with me. I got kind of a bigger core. I'm trying to eat more solid foods and not be extremely um, skinny. I'm trying to stay out of the problem area for myself. And I'm cutting um, sugary drinks at times. I'm cutting coffee at times. I found out that even weak coffee is not as healthy for me. I don't want my heart to explode. I don't want to develop casts inside my blood vessels. Um, basically going with what I know as well as giving a little let's say encouragement in the morning. This thing doesn't take very long. I'm just kind of I'm an extra long dude. I do some sets. I like to get sets of anywhere from 7 to 20 um, extremely long sets. I'm going to be sweating. I'm going to take a towel, a coat, definitely like a hoodie and cover my ears. Definitely think about grabbing some toilet paper if you're going to be out for four to six hours. I was working a lot of cold, rainy, no sunlight conditions. and You never know what you're going to run into, but you know somebody better have a public restroom for you to utilize. I'm going to be able to think slightly ahead soon, but right now I'm just concentrating on this movement. It's kind of a big movement. I just started doing these. It's like a stretch reflex mixed with um, a, a higher count. Like I said, I'm counting down from 10 Mississippi on each side as I get going. I really want to concentrate what kind of stabilization do I got. So I'm being able to switch up. I need to stretch. The further you get into research, you start wanting to say all the muscles. But basically, um, 
there's a lot of stretching going here. There's less ankle stretching. My ankle doesn't feel like I can jump my highest right now. But um, it's enough to get it jogging. I told myself I'd have some energy in the morning to do this. So I'm glad I don't have to do this all day. Some of my buddies' dumbbells kind of borrowed, stuck nickels on each end. These are 40 pound dumbbells. And I practiced this last week, which I did about three or four exercises. And, yep, my forearms are getting bony again. <clears throat> I held on to them for a long time. I just, I don't have the desire to um, do anything but fix what's going wrong. Yeah, any larger compound movements, I'll get some muscle there. And I'm going to eat um, something good. I'm going to eat enough where I'm going to get water volume. I'm going to get starch, just starches in here. Now I'm not skipping dessert at the end of the night. I'm going to have something. Um, I'm coming off a of high fiber last week. I just made the best beans and rice. And some fresh onion. So I actually was worried about that for a hot minute. Now I'm not getting heavy into these. But... They are grippy, like, and I can twist them. So I'm <clears throat> pressing directly overhead as it's out of the camera. I've seen people wanna um, do alternate, and they just have so much control. They're bigger frame to me. They can, they're not gonna, their head might be not as proportionate as like the person with the biggest shoulders. Um, but this comes from responsibility, this comes from just wishing that I had the, uh, I'd be able to utilize myself sometimes when the job's going slow, but I still plan on having somebody ask me to help them. Um, if I can do the job, I'm going to charge them. So, I want to get this started. It's not going to take me long to finish this workout. I think at this point, I'm not even going to worry about the next set. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do extra reps, but I wind up doing more than I did last week so I don't I don't want a whole lot of tension on my neck so I can cut down to just two main sets with these here dumbbells I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the dust out of the way and my legs are not burning up I just made the switch to upper body and did more than I did about the same I did last week. This might be a kind of weekend warrior like trap from me just just wanting to roll these suckers right now, like but I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna rub my my body against the hard floor. So you get get one of these purple mats. And I'm gonna crank out another about 20 reps to each each arm now I'm like a panther waiting in a tree you know just wanting to play somebody come up the tree and I'll might not be my family so I'll smack them out
Everything's closed in here. I got a toolbox. I got a I got an idea that uh, the weights are gonna fall off the end. I mean I put these things down super tight. But I'm at home, my bikes are back here. My friends' weights are here. My weights are on this table I made. I got one of these um, beast outlooks. I get. I got the full body hair with the blonde hair on the arms. Like, yeah, it's not gonna be the prettiest, but at 40, you you can grow rainforest. You know, all the way from your chin down all the way, like from under your nose, and nobody would care, like, honestly. Back to the little half rows. I like these. You're pushing on one, you're pulling on the other. You kind of balance. It helps, it helps your core get, get that tight flexion. I'm not going to have to do leg raises until my bench workout and literally just getting as much as I can in uh, so I can make changes so I can go heavier so I can go lighter this is like my idea of picking up an extra mid range like getting the, getting the finishing touches on some definition maybe but just wanting the strength I'm thinking about food. I'm thinking about you know, like water, just like food and water, and like being able to spell glory. Like I don't know. I wanted to deadlift today. never been high on doing a lot of sets of these exercise before I was powerlifting cleaning I think my PRs were uh, maybe like 4 by 4 400 but I always did clean first I do them from the floor I'm working on this lower back totally if it gives me fits, if I do too much, it gives me fits if I work for the boss and I'm climbing up on a bunch of stuff. I'm in between walls basically, and I'm doing everything I can to help the company, and then uh, back hurts or can't sleep right, or their suggestion is to take a vacation. The other company doesn't have vacation, so I got to do it myself. I got to do what's best for me. I try to pick up deadlift bar. <laughs> I better laugh at myself because they will be like, "Why?" My first set was a, a nine. I had to slow down, so I was counting. I didn't want to go over ten. I don't want that first intensity to just diminish the rest of my workout. The second set, I want to use my wraps. I pushed out eighteen or twenty, I think. I think this is a light bar. I, I'm trying to say it's over 200 it's got to be like 215 so I put 50 more pounds on here which I had laying around and I'm telling myself right now I'm taking five reps off that 20 I don't want to pass it 
So I wanted to get 14, but I wanted it to feel good because honestly, that 20, there was a little bit of activation still going on. So even if I wanted to slow down, I knew I wasn't going to move this extremely fast. I wasn't going to throw it up and put it on my chest. I just, I wasn't going to pull it. I slipped on this floor the other night, just was reaching back with a pair of Jordans. They never slip, but as it must have been extra dusty too. So I just wanted to do each, each and every rep here as good as I could. Like getting inside of a 90 degree angle. I've, well, I still got room. I was happy. I got it. I know I'm towards the end. I just don't want to forget about trying some more stretching. It has cooled down.